Hello, hello everybody. Hope you're all doing really well. Right, new photographic location. Uh, as many of you probably already know or have experienced in the past is that summer is not generally the best time to take photographs. I, I don't know, for whatever reason, I mean the weather has been great uh, on Vancouver Island here. We've had a really good summer, it hasn't been too hot, but getting inspiration to take photographs has been a little bit difficult and I haven't been out that much and when I have been out uh, it's ended up being a little bit of a dud uh, like the last few weeks uh, I've been on a trip with Gavin up to uh, 5040 which is a peak with um, uh, an alpine club hut absolutely stunning up there got some great drone footage got some uh, really quite nice uh, time lapse no photographs uh, same with uh, you know Gabriola Island Hornby Island so I've been to a whole bunch of different areas and just come away with absolutely nothing so it's you know it's tr tricky for me because I, I'm trying to put these vlogs together and of course I want to come up with photographs so you take all this video footage drone footage and, and so on and you just get skunked every time so how does that relate to this trip well I'm on another trip with my friend uh, Jeremy who's just over here uh, trying to take some shots of a, of a tree up here and uh, we've decided to go to uh, Carmana Provincial Park again now uh, I've been to Carmana a number of times and as some of you may know uh, Carmana is probably one of my favorite locations to uh, hang out in now as far as photographs go it's probably one of the most difficult and I've said this over and over again because uh, Carmana is a an old growth forest uh, but I just for whatever reason I just absolutely love it out there so we've decided to take a few days off and we're going to head into Carmana and again see if we can find things to photograph on the side of the road A lot of you don't realize that I'm actually, what's that? I'm actually a bit of a tree whisperer. And right now, this tree is trying to speak to me and it's saying something, it's saying, don't bother taking a picture of me. Okay. Aha. Ah. Now then. What's that you say? This looks good. It's whispering to me again. I think this is the one. It's saying, take a photograph of me. I love these roots right here. Maybe a pano. What do you think, Jeremy? I think a pano is the shot. But then I'm not a tree whisperer. <laughs> I need one of those horns. Huh? So we've come across this beautiful red alder, I believe it is. And it has these great uh, roots reaching out towards the, uh, the lake here. I think what happens is that in the winter, this lake gets quite deep and the water level comes up to here and washes away a lot of the dirt uh, or the topsoil surrounding these trees. And then of course it exposes the roots, which is great for photography. So I'm gonna take a shot looking this way 
but also uh, the roots on the uh, left side here are really interesting as well. So I might try and get down a bit lower and see if I can get those in the foreground. The light is, as usual, it's quite flat. So I might have to do a lot of dodging and burning to bring out the textures in the tree. The neat thing is though, is that we have this dominant root coming in from the foreground here with this tree leaning out. And then I don't get much of the background because there's another uh, part of the red alder in the background. So that's kind of blocking the view from any busy uh, trees or anything like that. So I've kind of blocked that gap with that tree. So the frame is pretty much filled with just tree trunk and nothing else. There's a little bit of green on each side, um, which I don't think is too distracting. So I think, I think this is gonna work. Uh, it might work better as a black and white. I'm not sure yet. What I'll have to do is take some shots open them up in Lightroom, have a look at them, and, and then kind of go from there. But yeah, it's, uh, it's quite neat. It's, there's some really great textures in here. I definitely like this, uh, this sweeping root that comes towards the camera here. This, that's really nice. This small stand of a red alder turned out to be a great study. And uh, I actually got some, some pretty nice images from here. Now to emphasize the roots, uh, what I did was I got in really close with a wide angle lens. And because you're using a, such a, a wide angle of view, it, it, it really exaggerates things when you put them up close to the lens. Now I only got as close as I could so that I could stop down and get everything in sharp focus in one shot rather than trying to focus stack because I really didn't want to faff around when I got back home with Photoshop focus stacking. I just wanted it all in one shot. The light, as I said, was flat. Uh, but there was enough directional light or ambient light coming from the lake that was to my right that it actually created a little bit of uh, depth and texture in there. And I just emphasized that just a little bit more by uh, doing a bit of dodging and burning. Now out of these three images that I'm showing you, I do think that the third image is my favorite just because it just filled the frame with trees and we have some really nice textures in there. And I must admit, I do like the soft light in this and uh, the depth that it has. Okay, so Jeremy and I were just having a little bit of a, an interesting discussion and perhaps I pr probably should have recorded it in retrospect now, but anyway, <laughs> I'll kind of give you the, the overall uh, gist of what we were talking about. So we've come across this, this tree with the roots that we both really like. And it's one of those situations where you know you like something and you see the roots and, and you have a good feeling about it, but it's really difficult to kind of translate that into a photograph. And, uh, I think that, you know, Jeremy and I kind of started off at the same point. We, we take those initial shots, we look at it and analyze them and it, it just doesn't quite work. You know, you, you keep taking the shots, but there's something missing or you're not quite getting the right angle. And um, we kind of came, came to the conclusion that probably the problem that most people have, and I'm, I'm as guilty as this as anybody, is that we, we give up too quickly. We, we come across a scene that we really like we know there's something there. We take a number of images, but we're not absolutely happy with them. And then we just say, oh, forget it. And we just decide to pack up and move on to something else. If you just spend that extra little bit of time exploring that, that, that subject that you, that you really like, eventually you, you may be lucky in finding uh, what it is you're, that drew you to that, to that scene. Now, I did spend a little bit more time with this tree and I found a composition that I really quite like. Now on the back of the camera, it looks, it looks really good to me, but you know, if I bring it into Lightroom or Photoshop, as I, as I always keep saying, it might not quite work for me, but 
It's just a matter of sticking it out and keep moving around, looking for different compositions, different lines. And what I ended up doing was just photographing kind of part of, of what drew me to, to the scene. So initially, you know, I got to this tree here and I really loved the, the roots at the base of the tree or the, you know, the, the creeping roots that are, are quite obvious. But the image that I quite like uh, doesn't include all of them, it just includes part of them. And actually, probably about 60-70% of the rest of the image is, is actually just light falling on the bark of the tree. So you have kind of a hint of the roots, but you're not showing the whole thing, if that makes sense. Right, that's it for this week's video. Be sure to stay tuned for next week's episode where we continue our trip to Carmana Provincial Park. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. All right, everybody, till next week. Bye for now. Cheers, Jeremy. Cheers, Adam. <laughs>